Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. So if you look at this scene, I have a lot of hot pixels. Um, some people call them fireflies and they show up on glass a lot on the edges and they're definitely pesky to get rid of. So I'm gonna give you a couple options for getting rid of them. So the first thing you could do is increase your max samples, but you're probably gonna to have to crank them way up. It's gonna be a ridiculous render. So I wanna to talk to you about GI Clamp as maybe a place to look. So this is the default. And GI Clamp is basically gonna clamp how much indirect lighting is sort of bouncing around the scene. So if we do a compare render buffer, I can take this GI Clamp and drag it all the way down just so you can see what's going on. You can see that it's limiting the amount of light bouncing. And this is going to affect your render, but it's also gonna give you a much faster render. So a nice thing to do is play with your GI Clamp and find kind of a sweet spot. So somewhere in the middle usually works pretty well. You're gonna get a pretty decent render, but it's gonna render a lot faster. And sometimes it's gonna deal with those hot pixels because there'll be less light bouncing around. In this case, it doesn't look like it did much, but in some cases it will actually help. All right, so that's GI Clamp. That'll help you with faster renders. Then the other thing that you can do is go into your camera tag. Under Camera Imager, there's actually a hot pixel removal slider. And if we drag this down, you're gonna notice that it's getting rid of a lot of these hot pixels. So I'll show you dragging it up then dragging it down. So here's our before and after slider. You can see that it's really cleaning it up quite a bit. Now the only problem with this is it's pretty subtle, but it's sort of smearing the pixels a little bit and making it a tiny bit blurry. So it's not a perfect algorithm, but it's gonna make it a lot better. So probably don't crank it all the way to zero, but you definitely can drop that down a little bit. And then if you're still getting hot pixels, you can probably increase your max samples, or there's even some plugins you can use in After Effects to clean these up even further. But the hot pixel removal slider and your GI clamp should help out quite a bit. So, and that will also help you with faster renders. So I hope that helps you guys out and gives you a little bit of an idea of how to tackle this anyway. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.